And they'd put these little tiny little explosives under the snow so it looked like the Russians were shooting at us. And I have a phobia of gunshots and explosives and all of that. And here I was playing this character, Kara Milovi, the Czechoslovakian cellist. Timothy could see that I had zilch experience <laughs> on a big film, but neither did he, but because he came from the theater and he was a very generous actor, he sort of supported me throughout the film. We did scenes in the snow in, in Austria, a chase of the Russians after us. Sliding down the mountain in a cello case seems easy and funny, but it wasn't that easy. Timothy is twice my weight. I've actually got the controls to the cello case to direct the cello case down We've the hill. Nothing to declare. That's the cello! <laughs> Every Bond girl had a different experience because their part was a, a different decade. And Lois Charles, who did hers in, in the 70s with Roger Moore, um, her experience uh, was different from mine. I mean, first of all, she was called Dr. Holly Goodhead. I am looking for Dr. Goodhead. You just found her. She was a bit nervous about that uh, with her family. Um, and she said that it was not easy to do, to play that part in this film and then after get parts. The same for uh, lovely Luciana Paluzzi in Thunderbolt. The moment she did the, the Bond movie, she was categorized as a sort of, you know, action girl. And so it did affect her career a little. In the 90s is when, you know, women started getting their power. And I think it's, it is Barbara Broccoli and, and, of course, Michael Wilson, both of them who are always thinking ahead of how can we modernize Bond. And they thought that M should be a woman. Judy Dench has the most wonderful line playing M. Because I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War. Fabulous dialogue that was written for her uh, and a fabulous role that will be unforgettable that she played in, I think, about six or seven Bond movies. But she definitely made a change by being uh, a woman as James Bond's boss. And now that TV Waller Bridge has come on board to co-write it and, and write the dialogues for the women, I'm like, yes, you know, this is going to be more spicy and more, more modern, more contemporary. I'm very glad I'm part of the Bond Girls Club because it was certainly a memory that will stay with me forever.